So today I am super stoked to be doing an unboxing of Rockwell paints and this is the parcel I've received. Um, past products that I've used before have been this magic set um, of self-evolving paints. It's completely mineral watercolour, beautiful product. Um, but today I have got their new set which is their dragon paints. One thing I love um, when I first received my box with, well, my first set of paints with Rockwell is um, they just package things very nicely. They really care about their product. Um, and so, yeah, I'm happy to share the joy with you all today. Uh, Rockwell Paints is a Canadian company and um, they make these beautiful pigments. Oh, oh my goodness, I think they surprised me with something. Yes! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Um, okay. So, you can see here, everything is really well looked after. Okay, so there you go. You've got a dragon. Rockwell um, watercolor set and I think they actually sent me a little cutie um, watercolor um, palette which I'm very excited about because I will be going to Europe shortly. Um, it's all wrapped in this really beautiful kind of, I don't know, felt. Oh, that's so nice of them. Just a little palette of um, to go, I guess. A little palette of them. Um, take that away. I think that holds 24 colors. Yep, so oh, I'll be actually going to take all my Rockwell pigments with me. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to open that up for you. Oh, I should say there's their color card there. The Jag Dragon series. Um, Comes with colors, all these different colors. So this is the dragon set. It comes with 12 colors. It has this color card in the back, yellow, yellow 11, primary yellow, brilliant orange, burnt ochre, spring green, Turquoise, lavender, ultramarine deep, amethyst, peach, oh, peach blow, light grey, and a blue, a sea blue black. So this one looks almost. Well, we'll see what it comes out like, but it almost looks like a um, a Payne's blue grey, um, some peachy corals, an amethyst, a little bit of a yeah, sad. Again, really nicely packaged. Oh, here we go. There you go. And there they are. Uh, excited to test these. So this is my yellow lemon. Lemon prime there. So this color I can see myself mixing in with this primary yellow. Is kind of possibly granulating orange. I'm just using some like travel brushes that I purchased recently. Just some cheap ones that I want to take traveling with me. This one's almost comparable to a pyro orange. Some pyro orange here. This is, yeah, that's pretty close to a pyro orange. Again, I can probably mix some really great flesh tones between this and this yellow here. This one is my peach blow, which is, oh wow, look at that.
pretty fast moving pink. I can't really see myself mixing that with some of this yellow lemon, making some blush tones here perhaps. Getting some kind of curly orange colours. Okay, over here I have a what is this? This is the lavender. This is almost comparable to a imperial purple. This is my imperial purple from Daniel Smith. Yep, so that's pretty close. Next up, I have a amethyst gin. Oh, just amethyst. And that is quite the marvellous amethyst. In the past, I've mixed my amethyst with a little bit of yellow to get some neutrals. Let's see how that goes. A little bit of a different vibe. That amethyst kind of holds up. This is my um, ultramarine. And this here I think is a French ultramarine. Mm. Nice. We have a turquoise here. Spring green. That is almost a very fluorescent spring green. I'm gonna bring some over here. I wonder how I'm gonna use that later. It's so green. Uh, next up, a burnt ochre. We also have the, I think this is an opaque, and this could probably be like a neutral tint, maybe comparable to. It's almost very white, it's quite a hard to see. It's interesting. Maybe some nice skies there. Finally. This sea blue back, almost like a Payne's blue gray. Somewhere, this might be my Payne's blue gray. It's pretty comparable, in my opinion. Really interested to see how this responds to different shades when you mix it. Spring green, that green. This has a bit of an opaque this to it. Definitely gives a oh see some that colour still alive. Interesting. Yeah. Definitely looking forward to using these. See this amethyst kind of granulating a little. Set with some pinks. This green probably will mix well with the burnt ochre for some more neutral greens. Kind of interested to see this one too. 
You know what? I think the proof of the pudding will be painting both these colors. Definitely interesting testing this. Very excited to get this onto a palette. So testing the pigments of Rockwell. This is just a quick sketch I did. Uh, this figure here is a lady in a market. One thing I loved about um, this palette was it's really great to get those um, spring greens in there. Uh, mixes really well the um, turquoise and uh, uh, ultramarine to get some nice cool blues there. And the spring green looks really great and fresh. Um, there's a little bit of opacity with the brilliant orange, which was great to mix in with the blue just for my reds. Um, so that was really great. Another uh, quick sketch again here um, of a, I think it's a child playing or dancing. Again, really fun to use. The pigments play really well together. So sticking with the lemon yellows, the primary yellow, the brilliant orange and the peach blow, you can really get some lovely flesh tones. You can see as it's dried. Um, so that's what I used to achieve here I used a little bit of the amethyst for some of my darks here and um, I think this is the ultramarine with a little bit of that um, sea blue black for the eyes I think oh as you can see here I think this is the amethyst the ultramarine the ultramarine just granulates really nicely this one here is another experimental uh, self-portrait that I've done I'm using uh, several different layering techniques here i think you're seeing the spring green in action um that helped me create some you know interesting flesh tones um all of this is exclusively rockwell barring a little bit of pyral red that i brought in from another palette by daniel smith other than that the other thing i used in here not for the dragon set was this palaber diamond blue it's a beautiful mineral pigment uh, by rockwell and that helped me achieve some of the granulating turquoisey blues there so thank you so much for watching i hope you uh, found this useful um please like or subscribe my first youtube video and um you can find me on instagram as well would love to see you there okay bye